Today we're at the Mendip Hills prepping for the launch of Mars Balloon. Mars Balloon is a STEM outreach programme run by Talisalenia Space. It's an initiative to encourage students in primary schools, secondary schools and universities to pursue careers in engineering and STEM. We've had a record number of uh, experiments. We are flying I think close to 200 experiments and I think 81 schools, which is probably a record as well. We put those experiments in a tray which we send up into space. One of the most interesting experiments we've seen this year is LEDs attached to batteries. So there'll be films during flight so we can see how long the batteries last. And also plasticine, will its material properties change after it's been flying to space and would plasticine be useful on Mars? We've got the team working on balloon filling, payload setup, and all the other activities necessary to launch the balloon and we're almost set for go. Programs like these are very important for the schools because they bring the science closer to them. It's not something boring and theoretical. They're reading a book is something, it's something that they can get into the class, they can touch it, they can do it themselves, and it brings kind of real world science back to their class and they can relate what they're doing to what is out there. Three, two, one, go! Woo! <laughs> when we let it go, it rises at about uh, five or six metres per second. Uh, it takes about an hour and a half to reach an altitude of 30 kilometres, at which point the balloon bursts and falls to the earth, uh, taking about half an hour. As we rise up, the pressure will decrease and the temperature will change. So we're looking for the pressure and the temperature changes to be able to affect the experiments, which then gives an indication of what they would affect on Mars. We've been tracking the balloon since it launched. The main tracker we use is a, a Raspberry Pi based tracker. The Raspberry Pi is a, a small computer, has a GPS module and a radio transmitter. We have a, a receiver on ground that's portable so we can track it. Talas Alenia Space is an international company and it's been delivering space solutions for over 40 years. We're always looking for people interested about space and about engineering and this outreach programme essentially provides that baseline and foundation to get the students involved and excited about what STEM and engineering and the space industry can provide for them. We're at Woodbridge Farm in Dorset, roughly 50 kilometres away from our launch site. The launch day has gone brilliant. We launched when we were supposed to. We landed in a field which had easy access. The um, owners were lovely. All the experiments were intact when we received them and now we're really excited to post-process the experiments and send them back to the students. Once we've collected the experiments, we'll take them back to our Bristol office. Over the next few days, we'll pack them up, ready to send back to the schools. And then the schools will conduct their own experiments on what they've retrieved um, back over the next few weeks. We're already looking forward to our launch for next year. Mars Balloon is open to all schools in the UK. Schools, youth clubs, youth organisations, everyone is able to participate. If you want to find out more information, please search Mars Balloon.